Altium i10. Beat your best. The Altium i10 is a compact hypoxia device that simulates altitudes of up to 20,000 feet. It is calibrated to the individual athlete to improve endurance, power and speed. Unscrew the top of the device. Remove a new cartridge from the airtight bag. Screw it into the top of the device and reattach to the main chamber. Now add the mouthpiece, ensuring an airtight seal. Unscrew the base. Take out the chamber adjustment plate and remove four plugs so that there are four clear holes. Remove the foam discs, leaving four in the device. The remaining discs should sit against the cartridge at the top. Reinsert the chamber adjustment plate against the last foam disc and screw the base section back on. To begin using the Altium i10, you will need the nose clip, oximeter and a stopwatch. Place the nose clip firmly on your nose. Turn the Bluetooth oximeter on, place it on your middle finger and wait for the PI percentage to stabilise above 4%. For best results, your hand should be warm and your arm relaxed and straight. With a PI percentage of 4% or greater, the SpO2 reading will be around 99% sea level. Place your mouth fully over the mouthpiece and, counting the seconds, begin breathing into the device in short, shallow breaths and using the top third of your lungs. Breathe in for three seconds and out for three seconds. Continue to do so and, after one to two minutes, your SpO2 reading should start to drop towards 90%. Continue to inhale and exhale for three seconds. As the reading drops to between 90 and 85%, take slightly deeper breaths, as if using 50% lung capacity. At 85% SpO2, continue to breathe slowly and gently, but breaths should now fill the lungs. If your SpO2 drops too low before you get below 80%, take deeper breaths, but keep these slow and gentle. Continue the process until six minutes have elapsed and then rest for four minutes. Repeat these steps six times in one hour. Six minutes with Altium i10, then four minutes of rest. If your SpO2 fails to drop in your first six minute session, the device can be calibrated by adding foam discs. If dropping too rapidly, remove foam discs. If breathing feels too easy, you can add plugs one at a time to the chamber adjustment plate. Ensure that there are sufficient holes, two or more, to allow air into the device. If breathing too quickly, add plugs one at a time to the chamber adjustment plate. Then reinsert the chamber adjustment plate so that it touches the last foam disc and screw the bottom section back on. For your first few uses of Altium i10, Concentrate on regulating your breathing to stabilise your SpO2 at around 82 to 85%. Each cartridge should last for two one-hour sessions. Between sessions, the cartridge should be stored in an airtight bag. At the end of its second use, lowering your SpO2 may become more difficult. If so, a further foam disc can be added. Your Altium i10 is now calibrated and ready for use. The Altium i10 smartphone app can be used when you have found the optimum number of foam discs and your SpO2 drops after 1-2 to two minutes. The app connects automatically to the oximeter via Bluetooth, allowing you to track timing and your simulated altitude and giving you alti points at the end of each one-hour session. Altium i10. Beat your best!